Hello, my name is Mateo Vasquez, and today I'll be taking you through the wonderful world of IT. Today's topic is... Today we're talking about database integrity. Database integrity refers to any situation in which case the database is unfunctional or improperly used because of issues unrelated to reliability or security. In other words, issues in which a mistake has been created by the user and the data is faulty, erroneous, old, dated, or in general wrong. It is not the database's fault, it is the creator of the database's fault. In other words, a catastrophic failure. Database integrity is usually results in serious issues and problems caused by simple mistakes that could have been prevented in other ways but can result in major devastations. There have been reports of database malfunctions like this that have resulted in severe hindrances of flow, losses of of hundreds and thousands of dollars in productivity, and in fact death. Usually, the problem with database integrity is outdated information. Outdated information is any information which is, well, too old to be of any relevant use. Outdated information entered into a database is often the result is of old and inaccurate and inefficient creations and systems. Database integrity is seriously damaged by outdated information. However, more so than that, there are cases where database integrity is severely wrong due to human error. This kind of morbid cartoon illustrates this. And yes, this is true. It is a pro about 98,000 patients die a year, about, because pharmacists and prescriptionists cannot read their own handwriting. I'll admit, I can see where this is coming from. My personal handwriting is god atrocious. But the point is still the same. People are actually dying because of indecipherable data. This data is then entered into databases and other different requirements where it is filled out by other people. The data in the database is wrong and the integrity of the database has been compromised, resulting in what eventually will become the death of the patient. Another situation in which the database has been completely erroneous is in airport security. Now this is actually a personal story for me. I've had this happen. My father's name is Cesar Romero Vasquez, which is the exact same name as one of a while back of one of the most wanted terrorists in the world. Now this resulted in serious problems at airport security because every time we wanted to board a plane or flash no matter what we required extra screening I mean the name and database lineup was completely wrong there we were being wanted as people who were we were not faulty database setup now this data was eventually outdated the man had either been caught or killed I can't remember which one it is right now but during the time, he was gone. He was no longer a threat. He didn't exist anymore. Yet we kept getting pulled over for security reasons and extra screening. That was unnecessary. The information was old and outdated, and security officers were looking for people who were not even alive anymore. We were thus often treated a little bit differently at the airport security, but the issue is still the same. Old data resulted in inconsistencies and unreliability. More importantly, the integrity of the data inside being erroneous results in the entire system being unsecure. Issues like this are major problems for our databases. However, there are a few effective strategies to counter it. The first one of these is validation. Validation is different from verification. And this here best represents what validation does. A validation rule in Microsoft Access, for example, a Microsoft version of the database, allows only certain things to be put into other things. See, this validation, you can either write F or M. This is probably referring to the, uh, the sex of the patient, either female or male. And the validation text will require, please e enter either F or M. 
it will not accept anything else allowing for mistakes like that to not be made is a way of validating that what you have simply doesn't exist this works with dates as well preventing you from entering dates like february 30th or 31st and works very well for situations like this validation only works though if the information is known to be true no matter what verification is the human going through and determining if data can actually be reliable and trusted that is a manual checking that the data is correct and can be done through seven ways here example moo books is obviously incorrect should not belong here and probably will be stricken from the database simple method to do this is double check with a second tech or technique every single time you do the, a database entry it allows for the elimination of errors like that also make sure that what you're saying makes sense have the papers in front of you anything like that just double check to make sure everything works and this is continuously done over time. Database integrity changes as time progresses. So in order for it to run at a constant rate like this, database progression needs to be checked continuously. As seen here, this is a different this is a simple verifying technique used by telemarketers for a do not call list. And it doesn't end. It keeps recycling and repeating because information needs to be changed continuously as time goes on. Basically, database integrity is an issue. It is very possible for major problems to occur when database integrity fails. However, through constant checking, and verification, and validation, it is possible for databases to be brought up to a safe and maintainable level. It's all about the creators and users of the database and how they work. If they're not properly maintained and managed, databases suddenly become a much more a much larger issue than they need to be. However, with proper work and management, it is possible to keep a database very secure, very reliable, and most importantly, accurate and, and having a high degree of integrity. These are my references for the images and the text where I received this information. Well, that's all about all I've got to say for now. So, until next time, bye.